hello and welcome back or welcome. I am Book Lover Lorna. Now this is the spoiler version of my Midnight Summer Review. Oh, or not even the spoiler version, just a spoiler add-on. So I have already uploaded my spoiler-free review of this book of Midnight Sun by Stephanie Mayer, which is a Twilight series book. It's just come out this year. During lockdown, I'm a bit late uploading this video, I do apologise. But there are some things that I want to talk about which I didn't want to completely ruin, so that is what this video is for. So if you haven't read the book yet and don't want to kind of know my discrepancies with it, if that's the right word, then don't watch this. If you have, or you just want to know, then watch this, this is fine. This is just an add-on to my spoiler-free review. So, I mentioned in my spoiler-free video that there are changes in the book. Now, I need to discuss this. Why are there differences in the book? So, when, in the original Twilight, when Bella goes and, like, figures out what Edward is, aka a vampire, she goes to the bookshop and everything, and she she buys the book. What do they do? They go, um, there's the creepy men. Edward finds her, because he's got those old creepy capabilities, um, comes to find her and takes her to the restaurant where her friends are leaving. They have dinner. She takes her little book home that she's bought from this bookshop and reads it, does the Googling, and then the next day, or the next day. She's uh, at school and they walk into the forest and she's like, I know what you are. He's like, say it. She's like, I know. He's like, say it then. <laughs> this is me reenacting Twilight. Um, and she's like, you're a vampire. And he's like doing all the like creepy jumping and like, woo, I'm so scary. All this, yeah. Um, well, in Midnight Sun, she went to the bookshop I'm pretty sure she didn't buy a book, didn't buy a book. Then the creepy men came and, you know, Edward did his woo, reading minds thing. And then took her to the restaurant. Her friends were leaving. They had dinner. And then on the drive home, now tell me if I'm wrong, but this is what I remember reading. On the drive home, she was like, you're a vampire. And he was like, yes, I'm a vampire. Now, those two things are not the same. She didn't buy the book. She didn't do all of the internet searching. She did do a bit of internet searching, I think. I can't remember. But she spoke to him in the car. They didn't do the whole scene where they're stomp, 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 stomping into the woods. She's like, I know what you are. And he's like, say it. They didn't do that bit. And, like, he got so mad in that scene... I was like, I need to see this. Well, from his perspective, I need to read it. But I'm sure that he did it in the car. She did it in the car. And I'm just confused. Now tell me, please, if you've read this, if I'm wrong, and I have just read it wrong, or I was like scrolling on my phone when I read it, and I wish that I could go back and find these things. But this is... 750 pages of Stephanie Mayer, so I mean, I don't think I can. What would it be in? Confessions? Poor Angeles? Or however you say I don't know how you say it, I'll be honest. Complications, another complication. Poor Angeles, 191. Let's have a look. Let's have a look for this bad boy. I should have done this before I done the video, shouldn't I? Um yeah, this is the one. Oh, I just saw the web bookstore. Right, no, I can't find it. I can't find it. Right, I'm on the ravioli scene with the waitress who's, like, obsessed with Edward. I would be too, hun. I would be too. Yes, I found it. I have found it. So, they're in the car. I feel like a librarian or a teacher. They're in the car. Driving back from Port Angeles, or however you say it. I don't know how you say it. And she's like, I have a theory. And he's like, where did you find that? She's like, at the beach with Jacob Buck. And he's like, oh. So they go into it. And she's like, 
oh, but they think you're a vampire. But it's just silly. But anyway, it doesn't matter if you're a vampire anyway. And Edward is like, you'd be better to stay away from me, as he always does. Um, but they're in the car. They're in the car. And she's asking if they sleep in coffins, if they're burned by the sun. No, honey, it just goes all diamondy. They are in the car. I just don't get it. So that was what I really wanted to add that had spoilers in it because I don't get it. So not very many of you will watch this. Those of you who have maybe read the book will watch it and I need your thoughts. I need you to comment telling me if you noticed this. If you've seen anything else, there, I think there were others that I just didn't cotton on to that were different. Now let me know what they are because obviously I was in a world of my own and if you notice them if they've ruined the reading of it for you or not it made me have less validity in the book I was like hmm don't believe quite so much in this book now that I've noticed that there's these wrong things in there so but anywho if you haven't already seen it go and see my book review for Midnight Sun I will link it down below should have seen it first before this one but you know people don't follow rules it's not like I put any rules on it but um and let me know your thoughts on this book like I said in my other video I'm very interested to know what everyone thinks about it particularly those of you who are twihards and are obsessed with twilight thank you very much for watching this video and happy reading bye <laughs>